Rise, you foolish mortal. Rise and tell me why you think you deserve my company. Why should I not kill you in nine seconds or less? I am Dio, the Almighty One, the future ruler of this world. And I will rule. Make no mistake. What is it? Have you come to stop me? Have you come to tell me I'm wrong? My ideals are archaic. <laughs> of course, it's futile. Nothing would stop me from my goals. I will rule this world. It is a question of if you are with me or against me. What is your stand? <laughs> a feeble but useless one. I see you could be my underling. But is that what you want to subject yourself to? Such a fickle human. Do you even cherish your humanity? Or are you like me, willing to toss it away for your greater goals? Yes, you know the Joe Stars. Then you must be familiar with our feud and why I hate them so. They constantly have been a thorn in my side, especially Jotaro. <laughs> What's your opinion of it? All of this, the world could be yours. You could rule with me, be a part of my crusade. But that's only the half of it. I want those loyal, as well as those who have some backbone. Why don't you show me just how much backbone you have? <laughs> Despite how I may seem, it is not my only aspiration. I want to change this world to be a utopia for the night. What do you think the most beautiful things in the world are? I'll tell you. It's blood and wine. The two things that I love. It's a little known fact that I don't bother to share. My aspirations of total control. Despite those who would get in my way, my stand is too powerful. I am too powerful for all of them. Why then would I ask for your company? Would I ask for you to follow me? It's simple. It's boring to rule at the top if you're all alone. It's truly a lonely place to be. At the very top, with no one to understand you. No one to do anything but worship you. I seek a partner, someone to share this world with. To share in the glorious bloodbath that we will subjugate it. But you're first. Someone who doesn't have eyes filled with fear. A mortal. But someone who has... Heart. It's strange of me to recognize this. Most mortals are feeble. They see me and they fear. Or they don't know how to face me. Either way, they only prove to be unworthy. After all, the sacrifices... Everything I've done, they show no compassion for their future overlord, the ruler of this world, the one who will rule all. I am Dio. <laughs> they will know my name. This world will know everything I wish it to, and nothing I don't. The question is, where you stand on this? Will you die right here and now? Will you die for your ultimate leader? Will you be a willing sacrifice? Will you subject yourself to the mask, to life after death? Come now. You don't actually think there's another option, do you? I can see it in your eyes. The fear, the lust for power, you want it all. Or perhaps you want me. 
<laughs> Perfect. Let the desire shape you. I will make you mine. <laughs> Look at you. In the face of greatness, you can't remain calm. Your heart beats for me. You will be mine. What's the matter? Can't move. Then I will make all the moves. You just relax, cute little mortal. I can taste your blood through your skin. You will be mine by the end of this night. You... You give so much, so willingly. Are you so smitten by my power, by my beauty, by me being deal? <laughs> Admire me. Do it more. Yes, your heart will belong to me. Your everything will be mine. I'd take whatever it is I want, not by your simple human logic. I am more than that. Mm. <laughs> and what of it? Your reservations about your humanity, perhaps? No, you strike me as one who has evil in your heart. Or perhaps it's the innocence that I see is corruptible. I wish to have all of you, and I will. You will give it willingly. <laughs> and to think you would assume I thought you were a part of Jotaro's and the other nuisances group. Those who wish to stop me cannot. It is far too late, and every day my power seethes to new heights. There is none who can take me on. None who can stand in my way. They are all but rabble. Rabble that I shall push out of the way. Kill as I please and drain of their blood. They will serve me in their undeath. Just as you will become my vassal, my other half. You will be mine, no matter what you say. There is no words you can say to stop me. No action strong enough. I am unstoppable, the future ruler of this world. It amuses me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? I wish to get to know more about my vassal, my potential love. To think... I'd be considering this. <laughs> but it's a lonely path I walk, but one with much conviction. I must make this world a realm of the night. You, now that I get a second glance at you, you're quite attractive, aren't you? You could be so much more. Imagine... If you are a vampire like me. But you will have to earn that. I cannot give such a gift so easily. You are mine from this day forward. It matters not what anyone else says. I will both protect and nurture your potential. As well as what could be called our relationship, our future... I will make it exactly what I want it to, and you will trust me. No matter what, you will serve our purpose. You will be an extension of myself, and you will be the one who gets my affection. I've seen how you've looked at me since we've met. The way you've eyed me is the way of a hunger that burns deep inside you. I can sense it. You 
desire me. You crave me. And who am I to deny you such things? You are fortunate. You may be just my type. As a vampire, and as the immortal king that will rule this world, that will dominate everything, you should feel honored, proud to have my time. It is yours for now, until I deem it not, or maybe forever. That depends on how you please me. I am not an easy man, not an easy god to appease. But so far, you've proven by and far the best, even if you've only been here for so long. It is your dedication, your lack of fear, that adorable little expression. Perhaps this is what they would consider love. I may have a crush on you. Perhaps you also feel the same. My humanity, while changed, while I am above it, I may still have some feelings, some expression, some needs. Perhaps you can be my vice. Perhaps you can be the one I share those with. You deserve that much, don't you? You've been loyal enough to tell me, to betray those who you seem to have called friends. Now, I applaud your dedication with time of my own. Let us go. Let us rob you of your humanity. One kiss at a time. Mm. Mm. You are mine. Mm. <laughs> Your reaction is worth a thousand words. There's many books and literature I've read since reawakening. I feel as though this world has much to offer, even after I've conquered it. I may seem as though someone who's a stickler for making things as I see fit, but I will not ruin this world. Out of courtesy, I will merely dominate it. And though there may be those who get in my way, they will not stand before us. You are someone worthy. Worthy of my time, and that, that makes you truly special. I wonder if you will live up to those expectations. Will you stand by my side as an equal, or merely worship me as an underling? I pray for both of us. It is the first and not the last. Say it. What is your desire? It does not matter what it is. I will make it come true if you are just and favorable to my cause. As long as you are loyal, I will give you the world. Ah, so you are one of simple desires, single-minded such as myself. I admire that. You wish for my love, my attention, my glory. That is a noble cause, something I wish to share with those who are faithful like yourself. But perhaps you are above that. You may be even more. I'm curious of how far you fall for me. I want you to fall on your knees. I want you to beg to be at my side, but at the same time, your dignity, your self-respect, your justice will not let you. That conflict amuses me. You are like myself, 
You have aspirations, albeit simple. They are honest to a fault. That is admirable in its own right. You will be mine. <laughs> Your reaction is so amusing, so enthralling. I feel as though you put a spell on me. Is that some unknown skill of your stand? I cannot understand it, but I respect it, and I want to know more. More of you. Your flavor is exquisite. I will dine on your blood, but hark, I will not slay you. I have far too much interest in you. You will join me as a vampire, if I so decide, and if you so desire. I am not an unjust god. I just choose to rule with power, with grace, with style. I want to be a ruler both respected and feared, so that anyone who dares to step in my way will think twice about it. I do not wish to be wishy-washy with my rule, to have those undermine me. But you, you have shown me respect, dedication, and much interest. You can see it, can't you? The beautiful future of everything. I will accomplish my goals, and you will be right there to bear witness to bear the fruits of our labor. Everything happens for a reason. A reason that I deem worthy. It may seem as though I've been selfish, and to a certain extent I have, but it's a necessary sacrifice. We must make this world livable. We must make it purged to be a world of the night. Otherwise, the humans will ruin it. Everything will come to an end. And everything I've worked for, everything I've wished for, since I've been alive, it would be for nothing. They think they're in the right, but my absolution is what will save this world. It will not even save itself. That is why drastic measures are necessary. I must dominate for the sake of the world. I must dominate because the world calls for it. Because everything is necessary. But the world can wait. You cannot. <laughs> Your expression tells me so much about you. Interesting. I will have fun with you now. Is that attraction I see glinting in your eyes? Are you attracted to my vampire self? Interesting. Interesting indeed. Ah, I will dine on your desire. Do my muscles, my perfect body, does it make you enticed? Oh, how the fun I'm going to have with you. You are already mine. You just haven't realized it yet. I won't even have to use the world on you in order to defeat you soundly. I'll use only my touch. I will envelop you in all those desires, because I take care of those who serve me. You may one day become my equal if you train by my side, if you show me the care reciprocated. I wish for your company, and I will take everything, from love to lust to everything in between. I will have you be mine. Yes, give in to me. Is my perfect figure making your mind hazy? My perfect love 
my perfect existence just to share with you. Perhaps it could add something to my eternity that we will spend together. I will share it, if you are worthy. Mm. Come now, you know you want more. But what? What shall I do with you? I wonder. Perhaps you should get on your knees and beg. But that would come at the risk of me losing the respect I have for you. If I lost that, I can't be held responsible for what happens to you. Mm. Show me how much you desire a future with myself. Yes, show me how much you worship me. <sighs> Yes, prostrate yourself before your god. Yet somehow I see you've held that hint of dignity. You remain vigilant. I appreciate your efforts, but you must try harder if you wish to inspire me. If you wish to be more than just a simple servant, you want my love. Then you must earn it. Show me your dedication. Show me how much you worship me as your god. Yes, I want to see your beautiful face. Twist in desire for me. Yes, you can be obedient. You will be obedient. <laughs> What's the matter? You seem flustered, and I've not even so much as looked at you strangely. Is my presence that overwhelming to your senses? I wonder what would happen if I did this. Ah. You are mine, body, mind, and soul. Is there anything you wouldn't surrender to me? Yes, good. You still have some fight in you. You still have dignity enough to refuse me. I respect that. Absolute fealty does not exist. Instead, your obedience is measured. Your obedience is appreciated. And it is all mine. Go ahead and try. All of this will be just as I planned. Except you've exceeded your expectations. Now, you have erupted into a new form of life. You are a human, which I can still respect. I thought that would never occur. But still... You must want more, with aspiration so glorious. I shall give it to you. My very blood will be something you crave, and I may deny you it. But in time, perhaps you would be worthy. For now, I give you the mask. You will be like me, a vampire all the same. Or perhaps you will choose to not, and accept mortality, and think like a mortal still. You are adorable, as far as mortals go. I will give you that, but your aspirations clearly carry you further. Why settle for that? Why not accept my hand in this relationship we call romance? and passion, desire, and fulfillment. I will make those desires come to the light. We will rule in the dark. An ironic sentiment that people consider us monsters. Those who have chosen immortality. Those who have denied their mortal bonds. And why not? I ask you, 
What is wrong with the world? They are afraid of the future. A future of vampires. A future of immortality. And a future where we rule. Yes, capture your desires, and I will give you everything you could possibly desire. I will make those dreams of yours reality. As my power deems it real, and it deems it true, nothing, absolutely nothing can stop us. Yes, good. The mask has approved of you. You are more than a mindless slave. You have now become a vampire. <laughs> you will rule with me. You are mine to control, command, and rule with. No, you needn't fear. There is no room for fear now. You are a proud immortal, just like me. You are meant to dominate this world, and I will lead you down the path of the Conqueror as my second-in-command. Now prove your loyalty. Kill this wretch who dare to betray us. Drink deep their blood, and make an example of anyone who dared oppose us. <laughs> yes, you understand. You embrace your immortality. You do not fear it like the fools before you. You are truly worthy of being mine. Yes, drink every last drop, no matter what they say. Now begin. Hey, don't do it to me. Don't, don't do it. Get away, you crazy vampire. Do not let his worthless rabble dishearten you. I want you to drink him dry. Do it now. Uh, uh. Yes, yes, you have done well. I am impressed, proud of you. Show me your dedication. Show me everything you have. I will judge. I will praise you. You are my proud underling but so much more you could be my partner who knows what time will hold as it stands still for you and i yes yes you finally understand ah the futility of resistance those who oppose us will be husks, just like this man. <laughs> Can't you feel the power coursing through you? A power humans could never know. Yes, it is yours to command now. We are the ones who reign supreme. Let the humans try and resist. They will find no quarter, no place in this world to exist without our rule. They will give the mandatory donations of blood, or they will suffer the consequences. As with any great rebellion, there is always justice to those who rebel, those who dare oppose us. We'll all be slain. Or held for captive. No one can stop us now. And that is the beauty of it. The futility. But through that futility is beauty. There is beauty to be had in those that even hate or resent us. They will serve as prime examples. Anyone who truly tries will be in the same position as Jotaro and his... Joe Star family. It may seem as though I begrudge them, but in truth, they've meddled. They've made a mess of things. 
I'd rather not mention them, but they will pay for their sins against me. But you, you are not like them. You are mine. And I will make you feel as such, my immortal plaything. <sighs> so this is your stance, your new and improved stand. <laughs> You are truly becoming my favorite subordinate. No, I must count you as my partner. You have withstood the test of my love, the test of my endurance, and the trial of yours. Now, remain with me by my side. I will pick you up and show you from the highest point of the city. Hold on tight. Behold, this is our land. The land that will be conquered every day and night more our own. I will see to it that you have the utmost respect as my romantic partner. Tell me, how is it? Do you regret coming here? <laughs> of course you don't. Why would you? You've gained so much and lost so little, shedding your humanity like a caterpillar into a beautiful butterfly. You enjoy it, do you not? This newfound feeling, this newfound power, the mask has changed you, just like it changed me those many years before. We are so much more than what anyone else could be. You are mine, and I shall be yours. Going forward, we will make this world in our own shape. We will make it understand the beauty of immortality, of power. None shall stand in our way, as if they could. None could possibly. With my stand, I can rule anything. I own time and space. The very realm we live in is merely a plaything of mine. And yet you, you demand my respect. I appreciate that. Now, let us enjoy the symphony of the night as we enjoy what it truly means to be the rulers in the dark. No one can stop us. No one can even look at us funny. They dare to, and their lives are forfeit. Behold, the world. As you can see it, everything you see is mine. Whether they realize it or not, yours and mine will be the one in the same. The rest of your family, the rest of your friends, everything will belong to us. The world, in all its glory, it shall be a playground of the night. All the depravity... All of the incessant fools who dare oppose us will fall one after the other like dominoes. We will show them the power of our stands. No enemy stand will win. Not a single one. Not all of them combined. They will fall. <laughs> Yes, you must revel in the night, revel in all the shock and awe of what you've become. Drink deep the blood of the mortals, but save some for later. Our food source must last, and we must capitalize on their weakness. Tame them like the cattle they are, and make them into our livestock. The ones who will serve as our banquets in the future. For now, 
Enjoy, revel in the killing, revel in the death, and revel in the blood. It all belongs to us. Those foolish mortals cannot stop the revolution of undeath. Their future is nothing more than pets to us and servants. For blood banks and otherwise, we will be like gods. They will be nothing, nothing but breadcrumbs along the way. Let us survive and thrive beyond our means. Ha 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 ha